The math lesson today is on the properties of addition, the difference between the commutative and the associative properties of addition. You'll notice there's a reason. I have wheels on the commutative property and a little face sitting there waiting at the associative. A friendly face, you might even imagine. Now, you'll notice that I've colored the 3 and the 4 in this case, and the 4 and the 3. When the 3 leaves home, it drives to a new location, but it is still a value of 3, even if it's not in the first position anymore. It's the same for the 4. The 4 also drives to a new position in its little car and drives over to this new position. Now it's first, but that doesn't change the answer. 3 plus 4 is 7, and 4 plus 3 is also 7. The difference, this is commutative, and you'll notice it's because the values commute, just like you might do in the morning from home to school. Now, in the bottom we have no changing numbers. The colors aren't on the numbers because it's not the numbers that move or change. What changes is with whom the friends choose to hang out. In this first file, we'll say that 1 plus 2, 1 and 2 are friends, and so they associate with each other like friends do. And in the second case, we'll say that 2 plus 3 happen to be buddies, and today 2 will hang out with 3 first when they go to play. And so they are associating with each other. In the first case, we see that 1 plus 2 is 3, plus the 3 we already had, 3 plus 3 is 6. In the second case, we see that 2 plus 3 is 5. Bringing down the 1 we had not yet company, we have 1 plus 5, again 6. So, we have proven that no matter with which value the 2 associates, the value will still become a 6 either way. In this case, the associative property because of with whom the 2 associates. This is the commutative property because the values commute. Thank you very much. Today's lesson on properties of addition, commutative versus associative. And now I imagine the decorations make a little bit more sense. Thank you.